my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of seen as unconscionable, and it's un-American. Go ahead. All right, well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I have breaking news for you, Mr. President. You may not have heard this. Just moments ago, Joe Biden stated that our supporters are garbage. <laughs> Are garbage. He's talking about the border patrol. He's talking about nurses. He's talking about teachers. He's talking about everyday Americans who love their country and want to dream big again and support you, Mr. President. And I hope their campaign is about to apologize for what Joe Biden just said. We are not garbage. We are patriots who love America. And thank you for running, Mr. President. Wow. wow. That's terrible. That's what it says. That's what it says. So you have, remember Hillary, she said deplorable. And then she said irredeemable, right? But she said deplorable. That didn't work out. Garbage, I think, is worse, right? But he doesn't know. You have to please forgive him. Please forgive him. For he not knoweth what he said. All right, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day today. You watch your own air with Nick Java and Nick Java podcast. Guys, this is my biggest issue with Joe Biden and the Democrat Party. They continually, continually say things that are absolutely horrible about 50% of the freaking population. Joe Biden calls people that are going to vote for Donald Trump garbage. I'm going to tell you something, guys. There's a lot of people out here struggling with paying bills. They're out here struggling with um, making ends meet. They're struggling when it comes to groceries. They're struggling when it comes to everyday things, affording gas, affording child care, affording these types of things. This man that is currently our president calls people that do not vote for him and his wacky lunatic party garbage so once you guys understand this man this is the president they always say stuff donald trump shouldn't say what he says he's not presidential is it presidential for the president to call half the country garbage let's go on to the next clip guys unbelievable man certainly by the trump campaign by senator jd vance and others uh, what president biden had to say about this tonight and just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization is seen as unconscionable, and it's un-American. Governor, first off, just what's your response to that comment from, from President Biden, where it sounds like he's calling Trump supporters their garbage? Yeah, look, I had not heard that until now, Caitlin. So I'm kind of giving you my fresh reaction to it. I would never um, insult the good people of Pennsylvania or, or, or any Americans, even if they chose to support a candidate uh, that I didn't support. I'll say, though, Bakari, he was, he was in his house, the White House. He was in his house doing this. Uh, and, and, and the reporting is that there are places that he could be useful, but he's not everywhere, like you might expect a sitting president to be for his vice president. I, I don't know that I would expect this president to be everywhere in this moment. I mean, look, a critical element, any coach will tell you, any CEO will tell you, a critical element of running a team and winning is assessing the strengths and weaknesses of your team members and making sure you allocate them in the right way. Joe Biden has never been a big arena speaker. He's never been the most fluid speaker. And by the way, as someone who had a stutter growing up, it's very obvious to me that there's an apostrophe at the end of supporters there. He was referring to the garbage spewed by supporters, not simply the supporters themselves. But Joe Biden has been on the campaign trail. He's best getting ice cream in Maryland like he was today. He's best 
showing moments of empathy in Arizona like he was last week. He's best with union folks as he was in Pittsburgh last week as well. Um, you use people where they are best. You put Obama in a big arena, you put Michelle in a big arena, and you put Joe Biden in front of a bunch of union people doing retail I mean, politics. You could make the argument that they would be fine if Joe Biden wasn't anywhere near a well, microphone you, you, between now and next Tuesday. But, yeah, you, let, let me just accept the most charitable framing of this, which you just gave. Mm. Why is he sitting in front of a laptop at the exact same moment Kamala Harris is out on his backyard trying to give the closing argument to her campaign? What in the world is he doing? Now, I don't accept your framing of it personally because I actually do believe he, Harris, the Democratic Party, and most of their campaign do believe that half the country is garbage. They've also said people who go to Trump rallies are Nazis. And so it's pretty apparent the disdain with which they hold half of the country in. Yeah, that's, that's not true. Not true. Yeah, that's We've already, 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 joke, joke, already, already but, but mitigated but it, but it but in Kamala's speech tonight. But as a tactical matter today, no, but you don't just why get to say in that. the world is Joe Biden giving remarks at the same so, uh, oh, time? I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you that. All right, guys, so there you go. Joe Biden is now trying to clean up the idea that he called half of American voters garbage. Because you know why? Because they don't vote with him. They don't agree with him and his ridiculous policies. His ridiculous policies. You just referred to half of the American population as garbage. President Biden. That is absolutely ridiculous. You know, and then the left wants to take and do this thing where it's like, well, they had a comedian that made jokes at Trump's rally. It was a freaking comedian. It wasn't Trump that said it. You know, I know people on the left do not understand the idea of individualism. That means if somebody says something, they said it. That doesn't mean, you know, if I'm out and I'm hanging out with my friends and they say something crazy, that don't mean I agree with everything that person says. And on top of that, the, the Kill Tony guy, that was a comedian. He's a roast comedian. Lighten up. But you know what? A joke is way different than a sitting president saying, Half of the American population is garbage. If Trump had said that, it would be plastered all over the news, everywhere. You could see it going down the road. There'd be bump bumper stickers besides those other ones Democrats get that say, like, coexist, but they'll run you off the road. Yeah. <laughs> the idea that a sitting president, every once in a while, Democrats will tell you what they think of you guys. In this instance, President Biden lets you know that he thinks you're garbage. So the next time you guys go out there and you think about who you're voting for this upcoming election, I want you guys to think of something. There's a person in that column under the Democrat ticket that has been his vice president, that has been in charge of the border, has done nothing for the American population. She calls Trump a fascist, a Nazi. They think Trump supporters are Nazis and fascists. Guys, I'm over it. I'm sick of the name calling. All I want is an America where we can afford to live in it again. The kids that are here can afford housing. The people that are going through these different things in life can actually afford to live. The idea that a sitting president just called Half the population of Americans, garbage. That should give you right there who you should vote for in this election. You guys be safe. Take care. You watch your own air. Nick Java, Nick Java podcast. Despite what President Biden thinks, I think you guys are absolutely wonderful. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you like positive commentary like this.